We have some new details surrounding Matt Reeves, The Batman 2022, and it involves the potential setting of his film and maybe his entire trilogy. In particular, we got news that the director's Batman film will be taking place in an Earth 2 setting. I'm going to be discussing this news and explaining why this setting is a perfect approach for the new film that Reeves is building. Before I get into it though, if you want to see much more videos on the Batman 2022, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like rating. But without further ado, let's dive into the Batman's Earth 2 setting and why it is perfect for this new reboot. So the Batman is reportedly going to be taking place on Earth 2, and in my opinion, for this particular film and a potential trilogy, this is a good setting for the reboot, rather than it having any ties to the other DCEU. Robert Pattinson will be the next actor to bring the Batman to life cinematically in Matt Reeves' upcoming DC film, and while it won't be an origin story, it will follow Bruce Wayne during his second year as the Caped Crusader. The film was of course initially going to serve as a solo movie for Ben Affleck's Batman in the DCEU after the original 2017 release of Justice League. But after Affleck stepped down, the Batman ended up becoming a reboot that will kick off a trilogy of films for Pattinson's character. And of course, Zack Snyder and Matt Reeves have both supported each other's work, especially at DC Fandom, so overall, it's great to see different interpretations, because Batman is bigger than just one film. While Warner Brothers have stated that they won't be continuing the Snyderverse, which you already know my thoughts on, they have stated that they will be leaning heavily into the DC multiverse that will primarily begin with the upcoming Flash film. However, in a recent report following the cancellation of DC's New Gods movie from Ava DuVernay and the Trench film from James Wan, the Batman will apparently be taking place on Earth 2 in the DCEU multiverse. By taking place in a completely new universe, it benefits Robert Pattinson's Batman greatly. Now, the Earth 2 designation is still up for debate, as it has yet to be officially declared by Warner Brothers, DC Films, or Reeves in regards to the reboot's exact place in the multiverse. But no matter what Earth that the Batman will take place on, it's still a strong thing for this franchise to be completely free for its own storytelling. With The Flash getting the multiverse involved in its upcoming storyline, it will kick off a new phase for DC films, and since Ben Affleck's Batman is still involved with the DCEU, having Robert Pattinson's Caped Crusader being able to do its own thing really plays well into this multiverse angle. Just like we saw with Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, we are essentially seeing something similar here, in that the story will be its own separate thing across a trilogy of films, alongside the HBO Max TV show based around the GCPD in Gotham. Now, to put things straight, I'm a fan of both Zack Snyder's and Matt Reeves' work, so regardless of it being connected or not, I look forward to everything they do. Also, with regards to this particular film with Matt Reeves' The Batman, seeing it have the potential to broaden a new storyline, and one which stands on its own two feet, is really promising. We know from the first trailer that this new interpretation is going to be a dark and gritty detective approach on the character, inspired by the long Halloween comic and films like the work of David Fincher. It's a different mood and atmosphere altogether than what we've been seeing over the last few years from DC, so the potential for this to come to life is really exciting. I think we saw the huge reaction to that first trailer at DC Fandom, and continuing that momentum by pushing a separated narrative that clearly can go down well with audiences is the right move to make. 
By getting to start over in its own continuity, Reeves' Batman reboot allows the filmmaker to craft his own mythology for Pattinson's take on Gotham City's vigilante. Since the main DCEU is still figuring things out following the Snyder Cuts and the demand for more movies in that verse, me included, having the Batman disconnected from any of the current discussion lets the franchise get off to a unique start. Warner Brothers have made it clear that they want to explore their DC properties through various interpretations, like the upcoming Superman reboots that will focus on a new Man of Steel. Now I'm not particularly excited for that as I really wanted to see a sequel to Snyder's Man of Steel, but one thing I can praise Warner Brothers on is the fact that they seem to be opening up to different types of films for their multiverse. Hopefully this carries through to also potentially seeing a Justice League 2 from Snyder, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that front. This model also applies to the many DC TV properties that currently exist, primarily the Arrowverse as well as the ones that are in the works for HBO Max. But whether the Batman is officially Earth 2 or not, and wherever it falls into the multiverse, it's better for this new franchise to start fresh than having any connections to the main DCEU. It does make sense and it's one that brings up many opportunities for a successful and applauded trilogy to be discovered. Again, I do hope that this approach can carry through to having more Justice League films too, but their suspected approach with the Batman definitely calls for some praise. We'll just have to see how the film is received next year and whether Matt Reeves is able to pull off a promising start to a new Batman trilogy. But that's all the latest news surrounding the Batman 2022 taking place in an Earth 2 setting. Hopefully we will be getting many more reveals soon during the long build up to the film's release as the filming has officially wrapped and the post production has begun. Things are looking more likely towards getting some new details for Matt Reeves' superhero film and I am personally really excited to see what lies ahead. I'm intrigued to hear what you guys think towards the Batman movie having an Earth 2 setting, alongside whether you are liking the style of approach that Matt Reeves is taking with his adaptation of the Caped Crusader. So let me know down below in the comment section. For more videos surrounding the Batman leading up to its 2022 release date, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like rating. I will be covering news and topics for the Batman 2022 whenever new information comes out, so look out for all of my videos in the coming months. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.